Well, meteorologist Andy Lopez joins me now. Andy, it was a pretty nice day out today. Yes, uh, statistically, but also just going out and just feeling Definitely. like spring. You bet. It was. Real. I loved it. Yeah. I was outside. <laughs> yeah, World War II Midwestern kids. I mean, we can take a good winter, but I mean, come on. We're getting towards the middle of March. It's about time spring shows yeah, up. We've had enough. That's We're right. Ready. We're ready for, for some nice weather. That's right. Well, the good news is the statistics backed us up today. Here is your almanac for March the 9th. And we did, yes, hit a high temperature above the average temperature, which is something nice to say. We hit 43 degrees here in Mankato. That low is a bit chilly to start the day, but we quickly warmed up thanks to a nice southwest wind. You'll notice one extra change on the almanac from yesterday, and that's the sunrise and sunset. Thanks to fast forwarding one hour last night with the daylight savings, we now woke up at 739 and went to bed. Or hopefully you didn't go to bed or you wouldn't be watching me right now, but 715 was the sunset. And uh, that's just going to take a little getting used to as far as having the dark hours early in the morning. Now back to that 43 degree mark for the high today, Mankato. Statistically speaking, that was the warmest day we've had since my mom's birthday. That was November 30th. That was 98 days ago. So the big question is, yeah, that's great for one day, but will this actually last? And can we keep working on those snow banks? Well, I'll tell you in just a second, but across the upper Midwest today, high temperatures were just phenomenal. About on the average, 20 degrees warmer than yesterday. We saw mid upper 40s across much of the state of Minnesota. Look at that Jackson, Minnesota hit 50 today, 54 in Montevideo. And yes, our neighbors off to the west, we can thank them for bringing in the warm weather, but they had even better days today. Look at that, it was 60 degrees in Sioux Falls, 70 out in Pierce, South Dakota. Now, unfortunately, the wind won't so much be coming out of the southwest tomorrow, but we're still looking for mild conditions for at least one more day. Sky condition wise, we saw that large deck of uh, rather thin layer clouds, but enough to keep the sun out for most of the day. That is not going to change, but you notice really not much developing off to the west, just more or less a mild upper level disturbance. And that'll keep in place at least for the next 24 hours. However, there is a little bump in the road regarding sky conditions. We do have a low pressure center. That's part of that, this light upper level disturbance. That's going to keep the flow from the west northwest, and that's going to keep the mild temperatures for tomorrow. But as we head into later on Monday, Tuesday, it's going to bring in slightly more unstable air. Could prompt a little bit of some light rain, maybe some light snow as colder temperatures move on in. Now, I should probably say cooler temperatures because it's actually not going to be that big of a change as far as what we've been used to this winter. Now, temperature wise right now, we're still very nice. Most of us still in the lower to mid 40s. And as far as last night's newscast at 10 o'clock to right now, Here's a temperature change. We're still 27 degrees warmer here in Mankato than we were 24 hours ago. That's courtesy of that nice flow of wind from the west to southwest. Now here's the local future cast. That flow is going to continue and bring in the more mild air, but it is going to shift tomorrow night and then into Tuesday. And you notice it's going to bring a little bit of shot at some precip as it totally shifts in from the north, bringing in cooler air but still better than what we've had for most of this winter. Now tonight, most of us should stay above freezing for overnight lows. Tomorrow should see even warmer temperatures. Looking for a daytime high there, 48 here in Mankato, but don't be surprised to see more 50 degree marks popping up. There's that bump in a road Tuesday, and it probably will be first half of the day. Some light rain showers, maybe switching over to light snow. Not much as far as accumulations. It's going to be very slushy if in fact it does transition to snow. But overall, we're looking for a very great week as temperatures will rebound back into the 40s for highs by Thursday and Friday. Tuesday, I'm a little iffy about. I saw yeah, that. But, yeah. But no, the rest of the days look, look pretty great, especially tomorrow. Yes, yes. The bottom line, just enjoy tomorrow. That's right. It's a very spring-like pattern, which is something, of course, we haven't seen in quite <laughs> some time. All right. Well, thanks, thank you very much, Andy.